So something, so I am doing, so I'll just get started because we're right here at six o'clock. It's getting recorded as everyone jumps on. Any questions, throw them in the chat. Um, feel free to ask away. If you have a tip, feel free to unmute and, and share or ask away. Um, I like to follow the plans on the blog though. So this is a really cool thing that you get with your on-demand um, is there's lots of meal plan resources already in the blog and in the nutrition courses for you. Um, and so I'm following one of those just to show you how simple it is to use the tools that you own. Um, so this week's plan is going to be breakfast, Monday, Wednesday, Friday is egg and veggie breakfast tacos. Tuesday and Thursday, you have overnight oatmeal with blueberries. And of course you can switch up the fruits, switch up the flavors and veggies as you want. Um, then the mid-morning snack is Shakeology. Lunch is going to be tuna avocado salad with mixed greens and an apple switching off with tempeh chili with avocado. Um, their afternoon snack's gonna be a veggie mix with some homemade roasted red pepper or peanut butter hummus, depending on um, what recipe you may be following. Um, as well as uh, dinner is gonna be a toss between salmon with butternut squash and green beans and Buddha bowl with lemon peanut butter dressing. So when I started eating healthy, one of the big things that I had a problem with is I said, oh, I don't want to eat the same thing every day. I want to have diversity. Um, and I had to get real honest with myself with the fact that when I was going through the drive through and ordering takeout and taking care um, of wherever I got my food or when we were going out to eat for multiple meals a, a day or a week, what I realized is I was ordering the same things. Like every time I went to the drive through or takeout with work, I was picking one of the same two items. I've been to the local diner for over 30 years and I've only ever ordered one of three dishes. So it really isn't about needing different foods. It's about needing to look at what we're choosing and what we're eating differently. So I want to encourage you to, to flex that mindset, work on that mindset for yourself um, and get excited about all the different food that you can eat and know that all it takes is switching a salad dressing, switching a veggie, and you can get some diversity pulled in. So if there aren't any questions, I don't see any questions in the chat, but does anybody have any questions before we just jump right on in? Not yet. Okay, perfect. Well, I am going to, oh no, I didn't start recording. We'll have to pull it from Facebook. Um, I am going to share my screen so you can see what I am following in case you prefer to read along with me. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start roasting our veggies. This is going to come into play for our Buddha bowls and for our salmon. So you want to start by turning that oven on to 425 and grabbing two baking sheets um, uh, with either parchment paper or luminate foil, however you like to get those set. And we're going to get started with putting our butternut squash on one of the sheets and then adding on our um uh onions head the broccoli the green beans and uh the mushrooms on to the second tray so you don't want to put veggies on with your squash because the squash needs to cook a little bit longer if you bought pre-cut squash that's perfect if you bought just the whole butternut squash this is now where you can cut it in half um, lengthwise take out the seeds and chop it into about one inch pieces so i'll keep myself unmuted in case you have questions and let's just uh dig right in and get started Yes, mischief is specific. It's cat time. It's a little busy in the kitchen right now. Why are you born? You want to eat a little bit here? I like to use parchment paper personally. What does everybody else use? I like to use parchment paper. Yeah? Yeah, I'm a big fan. So if you didn't uh, 
make it easier on yourself. This is also when you would want to chop um, up your mushrooms if you didn't buy sliced ones. And the recommendation is that you trim the edge of the green beans um, before we put them on their tray. I did go for the <laughs> I did go for the quick route on the butternut squash, so I did just get it already pre-cut. What was that, Deb? I'm so proud of myself. I actually prepped for um, this first dish. I got it roasting in the oven now. Yeah, now, you're ahead of the game. Yeah. I tried um, the butternut squash, chopping it in the food processor with a dicer. Oh. It went really well. I've never tried that. Yeah. I was like, wow, it was chopped in like 10 seconds. I don't know about you, but when I'm meal prepping, I like to have my garbage can pretty close to me so I can toss things in there. A couple friends have said that they like to use um, a separate scrap bowl for anything that could go into uh, uh, if you have chickens. I know some some of our crew has chickens. They take the scraps out to the chickens. Um, if you don't have chickens, you maybe have a compost pile that you make or even saving the veggie scrappings for a stock. So anybody uh, use any tips like that? Feel like sharing? I don't, but I wanna learn how to compost. Ooh, I think it's uh, on a great time of year to start that. also get the pre-washed, pre-prepped uh, green beans. And so I'm finding I don't even really need to take the tops off. They're almost just like pre-made for myself. Make it super simple. Reminds me of, my husband had just shared with me that uh, the mindset uh, video, the, I think doc, Dr. Crum, and she was just talking about what you tell yourself about what you're eating and what you're preparing. Um, and then I ended up, you know, that that's so important. And then I ended up uh, catching a live in one of the programs that I'm in for a, a chef who focuses on sensual cooking um, and just the concept of making your food pleasing to the eye. Um, and so I noticed I like unconsciously started um, taking a little extra time to plate my food recently. And I've noticed, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to take that extra moment and tell myself, I get to enjoy this. This is what I get to eat. Okay, so I am taking the mushrooms, two onions, the broccoli, and the green beans on the second baking sheet here. And I have to say, I love the versatility of this plan. So if you're not following the macros made easy, the portion fix, you can absolutely just have these foods bulk prepped for yourself and follow the plate it, um, the to be mindset plate it. Maybe just moving some of the food around. For me, when I started this journey a little over a hundred pounds ago, having a plan to follow really was key. Um, I found I was under eating on some things, overeating on other things, and it really just helped me get a better idea of what I was choosing. Okay, so if you end up with extra food, this is also a great time to um, take it and put it into the oven. 
sorry, put it into the freezer. <laughs> I was getting ready to see if I could go in the oven yet with my food. So I had oven on the mind. I have a question, Jen. Go for it. Can you, um, I have leftover radishes from last week. Does anybody ever roast leftover radishes? Or is that weird? Ooh. Ooh where'd my I picture have, go? My picture's gone. Huh. I have never roasted a radish. I would think the radish would be a great addition, um, sliced up and added to the Buddha bowl in this week's menu. Um, I've never tried roasted. I've seen radish chips though. Now that you say that, I've seen someone put radish sliced rabbits up, oh, rab, not rab. <laughs> I like Just checking that. if you're listening. Um, sliced radishes, like really thin um, shaved radishes in the air fryer and made like chips out of them because they have like a little spice bite to them. Um, and they said that they really liked them. So I'm thinking it might. How about I try it? And if it's gross, I will definitely post that. Oh, well, yeah, you let us know either way. <laughs> I uh, sometimes will uh, saute them over the skillet and then you put uh, you cook them with eggs. It tastes really good. Eggs, that's okay. Yeah. We have a very weird group. <laughs> we are eclectic. We are experimenting and having fun with food. All I'll right. We're adventurous. Oh, adventurous. Yes. All right. Yes, hey, yes, yes. Interesting. I want to know how your radishes turn out. All right. I'll stick them in. Yeah. Never Don't want go to wrong trying it. Okay. So I've got almost all my, my veggies here. I've got, this is the veggie side now. Um, if you didn't catch it, we are doing the butternut squash on a separate one because that does go in the oven just a little bit longer. And after we do about one and a half teaspoons of olive oil drizzled over top, um, and then I'm going to be putting it into the oven. Is anybody else? So when you use the parchment paper, do you have to spray the parchment paper? I've never sprayed. I've never sprayed the parchment paper. Um, I've never had an issue either. So I, I think the answer is, is no. I think it replaces the need. As soon as I finish this measuring the olive oil, this is something else that I love that Alana talks about is if you're trying to get that last five pounds down or you're trying to get that last, um, last results this is when paying attention to actually measuring things i can tell you like how often i've just thrown oil all over and you may think like oh it's not that much but if you've ever heavy poured into a measuring cup it can can be a, a dramatic difference in how much you're actually using and when you're that close to the finish line um that can be the difference of of getting that result when it comes to those seemingly small things adding up. So um, I am taking the time to measure when it says to measure uh, and going with that. So I'm gonna grab my parchment paper and see what it says for you. It is great for baking, easy food release and quick cleanup. It is a silicon treated parchment oven safe to 450. Lift foods right from, right on, no, no need for this parchment paper. Okay. So yeah, don't have to spray it. Okay, so I am going to set my timer for 20 minutes to check on my first round. Stir and toss things around. Is there anybody else that needs more time getting 
their veggies into the Did oven. you put any, did you, oops, oh my Lord. Did you put any seasoning on your roasted vegetables? Personally, personally, I did not. You can do salt and pepper to taste if you like it. Um, I, I did not. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I'll give us, if you're putting yours in the oven now, I'll give us a, a hit when we get to 20 minutes. And just as a reminder, we're making some of those roasted veggies that are going to be part of our dinners for the week. Um, and I love that we do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then switch it up for Tuesday, Thursday. But you can always plan something different. Now, the, while the veggies are roasting, we're going to get our tempeh chili started. So this is going to be some more chopping. We're going to grab that green bell pepper, um, one more of our onions, and we're going to chop those up. Uh, and I'm going to get a large pan. Um, I don't know. This is like a wok style. This is what I tend to cook in when I'm doing uh, a veggies like this. And it's going to sit on the top over medium for a little bit. So we're going to get started with chopping up the green bell pepper and onions to get those started. Uh -oh. Well, if you manage to buy true red instead of a green, I'm just going to go red. Why not? Why not, I had someone tell me once, now I haven't totally stopped how I shop for peppers. Um, a lot of times, because my husband helps me out with the shopping, but um, when the pepper bottom has four humps, it is a female pepper, and therefore it will have more seeds inside. And when it has three humps, it is a male pepper. So you get that extra hump when it's female. <laughs> And then you're gonna find more seeds on the inside. So if you um, don't wanna to spend too much time cleaning out your seeds, you can just you know, start looking for peppers with three humps and they allegedly have less seeds. Um, I think I have found that to be true, but I, it, not enough to prevent me from just grabbing the value pack at Wegmans um, versus sorting them out. Do they taste any different? Uh, not, I mean, they taste different by color, uh, not, I haven't seen them taste different by seeds, by male or female. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm in interested while you're cutting up your paper, I mean, your, uh, your pepper, <laughs> I am tongue tied tonight. While you're cutting up your pepper, why don't you take note and say, is this a high seed pepper or a low seed pepper? And let's see if it rings true that peppers with four humps have more seeds than peppers with three humps. Curious. I personally really love red, yellow, and orange peppers as when you're introducing the family into eating healthy with you, um, especially if you have little ones. Uh, having sliced up the red and yellow and orange peppers, they're really colorful and bright. Set them on your kitchen table while you're making dinner and tell them they can do a free for all, whatever they wanna eat, they can eat. And it's like extra veggies, you're getting the veggies in them. And the colored peppers versus the green are a little more sweet. So they have a nice, a nice crunch and a little sweetness to them that someone who hasn't been eating clean yet would not necessarily um, have a hard time snacking on them. The recipe says for the green onion, are we supposed to cut the red onion too? For this? Oh, I'm doing the red pepper because I accidentally bought two red, a yellow, and an orange instead of a green. So I'm, yeah, that's totally me. I'm also, the grocery store was sold out of chia seeds. <laughs> so, so I'm what? also skipping chia seeds in the overnight oats recipe personally. Yeah, I, there, there's a shortage on cat food and chia seeds. Um, anything that starts with a C, I think is, is being held up somewhere. I don't know. Uh, it says being held up on a 
cargo ship. So cargo <laughs> destruction. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Okay, so we are going to take a teaspoon of olive oil into our large pan over medium high, and then we're gonna add the onion and peppers in to get them softening up first. So again, I'm going to take the time to, to measure. I got excited and I over poured. And now I'm gonna under pour this one and hope I hope it even out. And I don't say it to like get stressed about, I don't want anything, to, like I want you to feel good that you're making healthy food choices and you're cooking your own food, you're taking the time to meal prep, giving your, your future self this week. Maybe if you have off of work tomorrow, prepping today anyway is gonna give you some time you can you know recharge and recover on a Monday that you don't usually get to. Um, or maybe you know your week starts tomorrow and now this is going to give your future self less time to question and think about what you're going to eat. So I want you to feel good about that. I don't want there to be any stress of, oh my gosh, there's an extra green bean, or I didn't, you know, I had too many carrots or onions or the olive oil over four. Like I don't say about measuring it to, to have it be a stress at all. Um, just something to be aware of, especially when we're coming into the final stretch of our our health goals if you're trying to work for something specific that's somewhere that tracking or noting counts kind of like i did a live the other week and i took a handful of of peanuts and cashews and measured them and you think like oh i'm just going to grab a handful of nuts they're healthy not really a big deal right and then come to measure it and it's one handful is over a fourth a cup and that's like four days servings of nuts. So yes, nuts are healthy. They have healthy fat in them. Um, they have vitamin E, they have lots of great brain power to them. However, if you're eating them at excess, you know, why is it? Is it just because it's there and you think, oh, it's not that much? Or is it because you're really truly hungry and this would be a great time to, you know, reach in the fridge for some hummus and a veggie or, or pair those nuts, nuts with a fruit? Because that's another trick a lot of teaches where when you're having those nuts and you pair them with a, a vegetable or a fruit, it's going to help uh, have you feeling fuller longer, but you also get more energy in a sustained amount of time instead of a short amount of time. Okay, so I'm putting my onions and pepper. And not that you need anyone to give you permission, but I give you permission to let dirty dishes sit in the sink overnight if when we're done cooking, you're like, not right now. And you don't have a dishwasher. But then get excited. The deal is then you have to get excited about doing the dishes tomorrow because you're doing them since you've got the food prepped and ready for yourself. I feel good about it put on some, some good music and dance around do a little dance while you're doing the dishes okay so why while the onion and pepper are starting to go this is where i get um i'm going to start opening and rinsing and draining the kidney beans so you get your you're going to get a cup of kidney beans two cups of chopped tomatoes two cups of water. Okay, so I think we're, I think the shopping list had a can of tomatoes or something like that on it. So I got my tomatoes, I got my kidney beans, I got my tempeh. This is actually my first time cooking with tempeh. Oh, have you ever eaten it? And it's just the first time you're cooking it? I've had, um, had tofu. I don't know if I've ever had tempeh. I so tempeh, is, tempeh to me is 
kind of like brown rice. Um, to me, tempeh is like a, it's usually grain based, at least the ones that I've find and buy. Yeah, so I kind of, I equivocate it to like brown rice. It doesn't have a real strong flavor. Mm -hmm. um, it takes on the flavor of the dish, sort of like tofu takes on the flavor and seasonings of the dish. There's some fun curry recipes on the, the Beachbody blog with the uh, tempeh that we like. So we're looking to get those onions and peppers translucent. Okay, we're also going to add two cups of water and two tablespoons of chili powder. Hey, Jen. Can you, yeah, go for it. Was the, was the tomato sauce for another recipe or is it for this recipe? Um, so the diced tomatoes is for this recipe. Yeah. yeah. That should be for this recipe. Okay. Hey. And this chili, this is something that this will really freeze well. It's something you could also um, throw together pretty quickly in a crock pot. So maybe you want to take one serving and toss it in a in the freezer or in the crock pot. Okay. So. Did you just oops, where did I go again? Did you just throw the whole can of kitty beans in or did you just measure a cup and save the rest? So it says to drain the kidney beans and then measure out a cup. I personally really enjoy kidney beans. So I'm yeah. gonna put the whole can in there. Um, okay. It's, you know, you can be a rule breaker if it's something that you know you like or you wanna try. Um, you're allowed to be a rule breaker. Uh, I. I usually don't venture too far from recipes because believe it or not, cooking is not something I have totally found a way to enjoy yet. Like this actually, the weeks that we get on, on meal prep on Zoom, these are some of my favorite cooking weeks because I get to have interaction and conversations um, and I enjoy that. But most of my meal prepping is out of necessity because I know the choices that I'll make during the work week um, or during high stress or emotional times will not be the best if I don't have a plan on what I'm going to eat. And it also takes some stress off um, instead of okay. saying like, what's for dinner? You know, like, oh, I know what's for dinner. I got a meal plan printed out right here, right on the fridge. That's what's for dinner. Okay. Because I probably won't use them otherwise. So I might just throw the whole thing in. Go for it. Yeah. I enjoy them. I enjoy them. Um, in salads cold like i really do i'm a fan of kidney beans i heard that they're really good for your kidneys no way Did I, I heard that i heard That's and crazy. they look like right they look like kidneys so then i wondered if chickpeas are really good for your glutes is because <laughs> They look like little butts. <laughs> There's a lot of fruits and veggies that look like a body part that are actually good for that part of the body. Like uh, walnuts are good for your brain and they look like little brains. Like there's a, there's a whole bunch of stuff on that. What's good for your brain? Walnuts and it looks like little brains. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That's a great idea. No, that's what I was saying. I wonder if chickpeas are good for your glutes. <laughs> and grapes are good for your lungs. Ooh. I didn't know that one. Oh, that's a great one. 
That is I enjoy frozen grapes. Do you ever eat frozen grapes? No. Oh, put, frozen put grapes are so good. Well, in summer, I mean, I haven't, don't usually eat them in winter, but, um, oh, so good. And if you put fat-free jello with the frozen grapes and put them in the freezer, they're so good. Now, are you mix, mixing it like you're cooking the jello? No, you just take the powder from the box and put it in with the baggie with the grapes and just stick it in the freezer. This is intriguing. Just, now, do you use those on your run or they're just a fun treat? Like, I've never heard of this. I want to Just a fun this. treat. No, they would melt on the run. Just a fun treat. It was a, it was a Weight Watchers. Hmm. Hey, buddy. I haven't heard that one. I do like the frozen ones. Another thing that I really like that's a frozen fruit is I really grab those black cherries when they go on sale because um, the frozen black cherries are a wonderful sweet treat to just like suck on after a meal. It feels like a decadent decadent dessert and it gives us a quick fix to that um, yeah. sweetness. And Wegmans cherries aren't too bad in cost. The frozen ones. Yeah, I think... Yeah, and um, we were just looking at one of the things that Tanya shared in our group was the the frozen and canned, if you're getting the unflavored, unsweetened stuff, it's really not that far off nutrition-wise from fresh. And you can sometimes, you know, really save some money too. So I am at the point where I'm adding my spices. So we need... Did you add skinny beans cumin. to the... I'm sorry. Is oh, it just I did. peppers I and onions? They're already in. Okay. Oh, yeah. I put them in there. I went for it. I'm going to do a little Himalayan salt. You can salt and pepper as you like. I, I tend to not salt too much, but I put a pinch of salt in warm water in the morning, especially um, that time of the month to start my day. Uh, okay. And then two cups of water. Maybe take a little, we got about two minutes left on our first 20 minutes for the roasting. Maybe take a little peek and see if you need to shuffle around your, your veggies in between here. See how they're doing. This is going to be delicious. Delicious. Okay, so we crumbled the tempeh, put the veggie mixer, um, the veggie mixture into the kidney beans as far as the, into the, Cut into the pan with the kidney beans, the tomatoes, two cups of water, two tablespoons of chili powder, your teaspoon of cumin, salt, um, and you're going to stir that all in. Now it's going to go for about 25 minutes over, over low to medium heat, stirring occasionally. So that's something we're going to keep an eye on. And for me, I personally... I get the a fourth avocado at the time that I'm making this. And believe it or not, avocado, I've put it in fourths and frozen them. And when I heat up the, the tempeh chili, I will put the frozen avocado fourth on top and it warms it and you can't tell that it was frozen. So avocado for me, it's one of those things where it's like, it's not ripe, it's not ripe. Whoa, it should have been eaten yesterday, right? So being able to take advantage of freezing it, uh, something that I've, I've found more recently, probably within the last six months, I found how great it freezes. And then if you end up with so many frozen avocado slices, it's something that really goes well in blending up with Shakeology. Um, and making your shake thicker and creamier. So if you like the creamier shake, um, you won't taste the avocado. Throw in some uh, frozen avocado. You won't taste it. It'll make it creamy um, the way that banana does. But I know some people don't enjoy bananas. Okay. 
probably need just about five more minutes on my veggies and then the veggies will come out and I will be resetting the butternut squash probably for another 15, 20 minutes. Okay, does anybody need to add anything else yet to their tempeh chili? Well, I guess now they need to make it better. I'm gonna just put that on a, a low medium heat and let that simmer on, simmer on, simmer on, and move so, us right. So again, away. so again, what is the what is the tempera? Tempeh is. Uh, oh, let me see if I can move this bar out of out of way. So tempeh, you can get a couple different brands. It's a it's a vegan protein source. Um, it comes in like a flat bar. I guess I should have showed it beforehand. But the one that I got is five grain tempeh. And it's just kind of like pressed into, to me, it looks like if you would take brown rice and mush it all together in a rectangle. And it doesn't really have a specific flavor unless you get the flavored tempeh. You can get flavored ones now. I just kind of stay away from those. Um, but this one, has brown rice, millet, kasha, quinoa, um, and then organic soybeans. So if you do get one that has um, soybeans in it, I just always, that's when I do the extra for the organic um, brand because I heard that soy, if it's not organic, can be, can be um, damaging. Right. So, and then this will be what it'll look like. So when it's done cooking and it cools down, you can just split it right in half. And that will be, you know, half of what you just made if you followed the recipe will be one meal. Um, or you can just keep it in a large pot and just stock, um, you know, have it be a bulk prep in the fridge. And then just know you wanna pull out that half of avocado when it's time to serve it. Okay. So. Now we are going to be prepping up. Um, I've got maybe like two more minutes before my veggies come out. When the veggies come out, I'm gonna keep my squash in, toss it around a little bit. I flipped it upside down a little bit. And then I'm gonna lower the oven to 375. And I'm going to use the tray that I had the veggies on to put another parchment paper and um, start prepping my salmon. So just find the side of the stove. So how many times do you do this prep class? So right now we're doing them once a month. So we have some recorded ones if you wanted to follow one, uh, depending on, you know, a different person leads it. Um, all the time we swap on and off and um, availability and if people really enjoy it we'll do more but right now it's once a month okay and that's what you sent you sent out a grocery list correct <laughs> correct so if you buy that shopping list and i can um if you want to facebook message me so i don't forget i can resend it to you so it comes right to you or the events it'll stay posted in the events as well i, ha I have it thank you um, so no. it's so I guess it's best to have everything and follow along with you. And then I, I'm assuming that you're plate that you're putting it in storage containers and you're freezing it. I'm not going to freeze any of it because I'm for me it should be fine in the fridge to eat this week, and this will be my food for this week. If um, if I wasn't going like say you look at your schedule and you're going to be out of town for two days, then I would portion out two days of food and freeze it so I can have some varieties and start stockpiling my freezer. Um, okay. Or if you know you have a you know birthday dinner out or you know Monday's a holiday you're not going to eat at home you know whatever the case may be. Um, so personally, I find that it lasts without having to freeze for the week, especially since most of the veggies are either hearty like the carrots and the peppers for the hummus we're making are pretty they hold up pretty well for the week and the other veggies are roasted which i find roasted veggies do pretty well in the fridge um personally okay. but 
Yeah. No, absolutely. And if and the list that I sent to you that I'm screen sharing here does tell you like how many containers um, that you can split it into if you want to okay. do that. So I'm glad you could come and check it out. I mean, you can absolutely hang out and ask questions. Well, that's but my biggest probably problem. Just... What the heck to put it in the container? <laughs> Well, and that's what I like that the list here tells you what to put in. And so if I can, if you want to calculate which calorie bracket you're in. So like if you're in C, this is an exact plan of the week for you. Yeah. And then if you tell me what plan you're in, I can help you fix it to meet your calorie bracket. And if you follow to be mindset, you're just plating it veggies most and water first and you know feeling full and satisfied so it really is it really can't go wrong in my opinion awesome okay so i'm going to turn down my oven because the veggies have come out turning it down to 375 for the salmon i'm going to keep Tossing the butternut squash sometimes if the inches are smaller, they cook faster. I know an inch is always an inch, but when I'm doing inches or when you buy them pre cut, the inches are different sizes. <laughs> so. Okay, so I have my fillets here. I did fall them. I was wondering why I had a couple cats in the kitchen with me. They're probably smelling my salmon. Okay, so arranging the two eight ounce salmon fillets on the baking tray with salt and pepper if you desire. I also like to slice up one of the lemons and put it on top of the salmon while it cooks. So I will be adding that. We always have extra lemons and limes in my house and they're used almost interchangeably here. How about everybody else? Do you like stick to lemons, stick to lime, never interchange them? What's your philosophy? Mm, let's stick to lemons. I do both. I like lime. I use uh, guacamole. I use McCormick spices on my salmon, like uh, like the brown sugar, even though it's not too healthy. Oh, brown sugar. This one's smokehouse maple. That's yummy on there. Oh, maple. I can see. Yeah. There's a the brown sugar maple. I put that on the salmon too. There's a to be mindset recipe for honey maple salmon. And there's also a mustard salmon that's really good. Oh, I like the mustard salmon. Yeah. yeah. Did you try that recipe? Yeah. I yes. That, that's a good one. <laughs> A good reminder here that when you're cutting a package, you cut away from your fingers. Just a general safety tip. I will not tell you why I'm giving you that tip right now. Now, in the future, we're going to be working on our Buddha bowls a little bit. And the Buddha bowls, have the veggie burger patties that go with them. You can do one of two things. Um, depending on which veggie burgers that you purchased, it'll have a different cooking time and cooking recipe. So you can keep those frozen up until the time that you're going to eat them and you know cook them in the air fryer or the oven or however the prep tells you or you can take the time and prep them all up today and then just put them in with the food bowls
So that is totally up to you as far as how much you do or don't prep the veggie burger. And so I'm squeezing one of the lemon, a couple lemon wedges over my salmon, and then I'm just putting little discs. I'll show you here in a minute. So something I'm excited about, March 15th, um, Autumn Cow Grease is coming out with a new gut health protocol program. It's a four week um, program that's helping to overhaul your gut and it's going to be complete with a new workout. Um, but one of the things that, and if you didn't see my, my weekly email yet, um, one of the things I says, let's not wait for a new program to start doing a gut check. And I loved the tip that I got as far as having warm lemon water in the morning to help start your day. It helps flush your your liver and your body in a healthy way and gets your body ready to start turning on all the systems. Lemon has a lot of great properties. I've even, I know some women put the lemon essential oils in versus the lemon wedges. Great way to start the day. So my, you said warm water or water? Warm, warm, yeah, yeah, warm, yeah, warm water. So what I've been doing is I've been, I have a teapot, an electric teapot, and I've been warming up the water in there and I mix it and I have that even before my energize and work out. So here is what I'm doing with the lemon, um, you can see the salmon with the lemon wedges on it before I go in and bake it. I'm gonna add that in and it looks like my butternut squash is, perfection for me. I like having a little brown crisp on one side and having a little, yep, they feel good. So I am done with my butternut squash. I'm going to turn on the timer now for the salmon. Does everybody else have their salmon going in already or already in? Take a water break. So we are gonna move right along. So now we're gonna make our breakfast tacos. And this is something that you're going to get. And of course, keep stirring um, your tempeh. Um, occasionally, if it's bubbling, maybe turn the heat down a little bit, let it simmer a little lighter. Um, now with the eggs, the way the meal plan has you cooking the eggs, it has you scrambling all six and portioning them out tonight and actually having your scrambled eggs made and just cold in the fridge with, um, with the side here. You can absolutely, depending on your schedule and your time, you cannot cook the eggs tonight and you can, you know, scramble them in the morning when you're getting ready. Um, this is where you kind of do a gut, a, a gut check for yourself and how much time do you need to prep your breakfast? So is it going to help you if all you have to do is throw it all in a, a pan to warm it up slightly or throw it in the microwave to warm it up? Like what is going to work for you. Um, me personally, I tend to use the stove top to heat everything up or the air fryer. Um, I've actually have made scrambled eggs in the air fryer. So I am going to do the eggs tonight as scripted and then they'll be in the fridge. And I've never had an issue rewarming eggs, but if you prefer and you have the time, you can scramble them in the mornings as we go. So otherwise we're going to start with, um, we're going to be able to pull some of those mushrooms and onions out of our, our heat there. And we are going to add the one and a half cup of spinach till about wilted um, and then divide that into three containers. So I'm going to take about three fourth cup of the mushrooms and three fourth cups of the onions off of my roasted veggie tray and pull that into a pan with the spinach. that I didn't need the fridge. 
Okay, so I want to throw you a really weird question, Jen. Hit me. Why don't you just mix everything together, the veggies and the eggs, and portion it, and then all you have to do is nuke it to warm it up to throw in your tacos? You could absolutely do that. That's a great idea. No reason. Just trying to be difficult. <laughs> no, I think that's a great idea. That's a great idea, and it'll fit right in the, the tacos as well. Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. <clears throat> That's kind of why I put all the mushrooms and onions right in to roast because I like when they get the flavor of the other veggies and they help flavor the other veggies, but also because um you get your best nutrition from spinach before it's really cooked down so you don't when you wilt it it really is just light heat to just get it to start to be pliable you really don't want to cook the, the spinach too far i actually have a few friends that they let the egg be what wilts the spinach they use the raw spinach when they make this and just let the warmth of the egg heat up the spinach to have it as close to raw as possible if your taste buds are brand new to clean eating that's not something i would recommend it does take um two to three weeks for your taste buds to be brand new and if you especially if you've been eating very highly processed or highly flavored um, and sugared foods from the store or from a restaurant, um, going to raw spinach with your eggs make it pretty good. Joseph says hi. What are you doing? So I'm doing what Kim suggested. I've got my onions and mushrooms pulled out here. I'm going to turn on the heat just to get the spinach starting to wilt a little bit. We're going to come back and stir my tempeh chili. If your butternut squash is still in the oven, you'll want to check on that. Then I am going to get my eggs a crack a lacking. Did anybody ever work in a professional kitchen? Either serving and running or prepping or cooking? Just serving and running. Serving and running? I had volunteered at the Salute Cooking Schools and did chef assisting. And um, the chef, Antonio, he used to be uh, Jimmy Carter's breakfast chef. And so I worked with him for about five years. Oh, wow. What did Jimmy Carter have for breakfast? I got to oh. know. And just, oh. like what we're making tonight. 
Oh, really? Don't they? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a fed up well because Jimmy Carter's still cooking. <laughs> <laughs> He's still cooking, not cooking. <laughs> well, he could be cooking. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I was a server for a few years at my third job, and I will say, uh, one of the one of the chefs, whenever you would mess up an order, he would say, "Don't be sorry, be better," because he'd like come in and apologize, and that kind of scarred me. Because I still hear myself say it sometimes. Don't be sorry, be better. <laughs> it's funny. But the pressure gets hot in there. I can only imagine being in the heat and having all the orders coming at you all the time. Okay. And my spinach quilting. You could also, I mean, I guess you could also do one of the veggie cup recipes and just freeze, have some extra veggie cups. If you're, if you find this meal plan works for you and you want to make it a little different, spice it up, do something different next week. You just sweep in, sweep in different veggies or I think there's 12 different veggie cup recipes on the blog. So many great ideas. Hey, we are doing great on time. We're coming up on an hour and we've got our roasted veggies done. We've got our tempeh chili simmering. Our egg breakfast is almost done. Your salmon should be roasting away, getting a pretty pink color. At least mine's getting pretty pink right now. We're kind of halfway here, right at the hour mark. Perfect. Okay. How long does this class usually take? Um, we try to have you cut and done in two hours, so six to eight. So oh, wow. two hours, yeah, two hours, and then you're prepped for the week. Mm -hmm. Some people come on for an hour and pop off. Some people start earlier and um, come in almost done and hang out. People don't always follow the same meal plan. They're just here for some tips and, and entertainment while they're in the kitchen. Well, I really appreciate the invite. My husband's making dinner. We're having, uh, I'm having salmon and he's having crab cakes. I have a tossed salad uh, with um, green olives, black olives, tomatoes, cucumbers, spinach, and romaine. Ooh. And then I'm going to make some brown rice. Nice. Where do you and live? I'll come over. <laughs> <laughs> but I will come prepared next time. What fun. I mean, there's nothing worse than opening up the cupboard and, you know, what the hell to put together, <laughs> you know? get it so, um, i get it but i've been traveling for the past two months so i'm finally down i'm finally um home now for a while um my granddaughter has some surgeries and uh, my daughter went away so i was watching the, the girls so uh wow um everything was, was i made a lot of one pot meals so um but i've been really really good with my water um i've been good with my exercise not as good as i want to be with my exercise but um so I'm just looking to mix it up a bit. <laughs> well, Jen's this is a great, a great way to do that. <laughs> this just is a great way Jen. to do that. So, tap oh, into Jen. Jen. She's got a lot of energy. Uh, <laughs> so true. Thank it's you. True. 
Um, and then also uh, encourage you to go in your email and um, search family dinner project to pull up any old, like you should have several um, family dinner project meal plans from Friday. And then you can always just like look through the pictures and get inspired to try something new, you know, look to try one new recipe a week or something like that to give yourself some pizzazz. Oh, that, I, you know, it's so funny because we were talking about the fruit, the food that looks like body parts. That's so yeah. interesting that you guys were talking about the walnut with the brain and the grapes with the lungs and that kind of thing. And, um, and my husband has me on, I was at the beginning, I was taking all my vitamins. He has me on a lot of vitamins and um, he's actually prepping for a surgery. He's going to have a hernia oh, wow. surgery. He has two hernias. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, he's got to eat light, you know, a couple of days before because he has to have a colonoscopy first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, know, yep. you know, it's fun getting old. And uh, so I thought, oh my gosh, what am I going to feed him? So this um, gave me a couple ideas that that'll be, that'll be great. Something different. Wonderful. Well, best of luck to your husband. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I'm hoping a speedy recovery. Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. Patience um, for you. Wisdom <laughs> for the doctor, patience for you. I mean, I can imagine it's going to put some stuff your way for a while. It's well, he's pretty know. healthy. He's pretty healthy. He works out really well. He's, he's, he has a great diet. He takes his vitamins and um, we're getting the water down. So um, he's really, um, has, he's 71 and he's healthier now than when he was 51. So that's wow. nice. I love it. So, yeah. Cheers. Cheers yeah. to that. <laughs> Double wine glass to that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to um, so I'm going to leave you guys. Thank you again for the invitation, and I hope to do this again prepared. And um, <laughs> really looking forward to. It. Uh, I do want to see that oatmeal thing though, but um, that's really sounds interesting. But I've been using that one that one piece of paper that you gave me a lot. I love. I never thought you could put peanut butter in uh, oatmeal and not feel like you're cheating. <laughs> um, it's very delicious and avocado toast i thought i would never have avocado toast but and i have it on the um uh that green bread um i freeze it uh Ooh. what is it the the, the ezekiel yes oh yeah. ezekiel yeah that's my favorite the ezekiel oh, that's bread. My favorite. and then uh and portion control it's just portion control because um my husband's kind of a fussy eater so uh but he's, he's really adventurous sometimes, as long as he's not allowed in the kitchen and sees how I prepare it. <laughs> so, um, but again, thank you so much. So I will let you guys go Absolutely. and I'll be in touch. Perfect. I'll talk to you later. Thanks thank for joining. Bye, Denise. Nice meeting Bye. everybody. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm at 17 minutes for the salmon. My eggs are done. I'm gonna set them on the back burner to cool so I can split them into three containers. I love your idea, Kim. It made it so much simpler. Just mix it all together, why not? It's all gonna go in a taco anyway. <laughs> do you um, warm up your taco shell beforehand? Like when it's actual I time? Do. I do. So we use the corn tortillas um, yeah. and they're, they're a staple in our house. Um, so we have the, the white ones right now, but they also come in yellow. Um, and then we have a, you know, those plug in pan frying pans, that, like you would a Skittle that you would like make a whole bunch of pancakes on. Um, so right. we turn that on and um, you put the tortillas on it. And when the top starts to get a little bubble and break open a little bit, then you flip them. And okay. then that's that's how we heat them up and, and eat them. Okay. All right, I have to leave you now, but thank you for sharing okay. your hour with me. Thank you for coming and getting some of your stuff done. And yeah, I, I, giving us some ideas too. I got a lot done. And I'll let you know how the radishes taste in a minute. <laughs> Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'm really curious about that. Well, wait, here, I'll, I'll, I'll eat one right now and I'll eat. Yeah. Oh, don't burn your tongue. <laughs> don't don't burn right. your tongue. So they look okay. Yeah, not so good.
No. Oh. Well, maybe put them in the I'll air fryer and get them crunchy. That's that's what I got to do. They're, they're still yeah. watery. Oh, yeah. Okay, bye, put them in the everybody. air fryer, make them crunchy. See you, Kim. Bye. Bye. Okay, so the next step, um, while the tempeh and the salmon are finishing, the next thing that comes into play are making the Buddha bowls. So this is where you can decide whether you want to cook your veggie patties now, whether you want to keep them in the freezer until it's time to eat them. Um, I am going to put them in, uh, I'm just going to toast them a little bit now and then just put them into my Buddha bowl. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I'm, and I made one mistake. I don't know why I didn't think about it. When I roasted my veggies, I was like, ah, I just mixed them all together at the end instead of separating them. Like, oh no. Oh, oh well. I did that as well. So I just picked out, it wasn't that, um, wasn't that hard yeah. to pick out. Hey, so you have um, corn tortillas and limes. That's what we do in my family. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, um, my family, they're originally from Texas. And so we do a lot of Texas. Oh, yeah. Those are our staples. That's uh, always here. Yeah, that's something. Now, as far as um, if you're looking at, so if you go on Portion Fix and you look at the fruit and veggie, hierarchy like list in portion fix or to be mindset the the fiber filled carbs or your yellow container for portion fix um what's at the top is the highest nutritional value and corn tortillas are kind of down towards the bottom they don't have a really big nutritional value so it's it's not something that that's something too that when you're looking at that last five pounds what are the fiber filled carbs you're choosing how much nutrition are you getting? Um, so that's something to to look at. Uh, if you're having, you know, if you have a choice between a cor corn tortilla and a sweet potato, the sweet potato is going to give you more nutrition than the corn tortilla. So just seeing how much, like, yeah. if you're, you know, choosing. Okay. So I'm at 20 minutes. My salmon. I like to have my fish like super cooked. I'd, I'm a I don't like probably, medium rare. <laughs> I offend some some fish uh, uh, some fish people, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, okay, so here we go. So now I'm gonna make my Buddha bowl and the big thing is going to be making the dressing. Where did I put the bowl? I got this egg all done now. Put together. Yeah, I have these carb smart um, tortillas that um because I didn't have time to get I didn't see uh, corn tortillas. I was like, oh shoot. So I got these carb balanced ones. And so hopefully those will do the trick. Yeah, I mean I'm sure with your skill set, you probably looked at the ingredients and see what's in it. Um yeah. So I tried doing that 100 morning meltdown and I did like a whole month or something. And um, I'm like, yeah, all those burpees and stuff doesn't get me tired. So I'm trying. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I, I can't do that like I used to. So uh, <laughs> I tried the melt of uh, muscle burns fat. So oh, MBF, yes. And uh, so I started it uh, a couple days ago, and uh, I like that one a lot. That, that is a good one. Yeah. I was like, okay. I okay, so, so we get one and a half teaspoons of peanut butter. I'm so, I'm so curious about your hummus, how that's going to come out. You know, I'm kind of contemplating, should I use the sesame oil or the peanut butter? Hmm. Like, I don't know. I forgot that you ended up finding the oil. 
Um, the half sesame oil and then um, the man at the grocery store, I think it was from India. And he just was saying, you can move sesame oil. I'm like, oh, I didn't think about it. And um, like, probably so. Okay, so we're juicing one lemon and one and a half teaspoons of peanut butter into a little bowl that we can whisk away. And then I'm using three little like Tupperware-ish containers to portion it out in. And because I'm not gonna put the dressing on until it's time to eat it. So I'm going to put the container in the bowl personally. That's my. I might have to put my veggies in one big container. I don't think I have a, enough containers. I don't know. This, uh, Lemon had tricky seeds that fit through the, <laughs> the juicer. Okay, so make the lemon and peanut butter dressing by mixing, okay, one lemon. Juicy. Oh, I wonder if- And how do you do in your house? Oh, I'm sorry. You said with your family, so. Oh, go ahead. Now, I was just curious about the lemons. Like if you, if when I say lemon, are you thinking yellow lemon or green? Uh, yellow. yellow. And the lime would be definitely the green. That was one of the funny things when my husband and I started. Uh, I would have like grocery snacks for him and I would say lemon and he would bring back some limes. I said, no, these are not lemons. He said, yeah, these are lemons. <laughs> I have family uh, that uh, do that, especially the more traditional ones that grew up in the old ways. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, that was, like, everything's the lines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was funny. So I was, I was curious. Now I cut you off. What were you saying? Um, you know, I don't even remember. <laughs> like, About the containers? Oh, yeah, I don't think I have enough containers. So what I'll do is I'll put everything in separate containers and then divide it during the day. Okay, so. So is this still super cold up there? Oh man, it's going up and down. It's pretty crazy, honestly. It snowed, had a squall yesterday that was pretty crazy for a little bit, and the temperature was really cold yesterday, but we had a pretty warm day mm -hmm. as well. So it's hit or miss. Hasn't decided what's coming as far as the seasons, I think. Yeah, it's starting to get nice uh, this week anyhow. And oh, I actually tried another one that run, the audio run program. Isn't that great? Did you do it on a treadmill or outside? Outside. So I'm like, oh my goodness, on certain days when it's gorgeous, I'm like, oh, that's perfect. I love that one. Because I like running she, in, in summer. She catches me with my form. Like she just seems to know when to say, you know, shoulder core. And she's yeah. just so inspiring when you're running it. There's also treadmill ones. If you scroll to the bottom of 30 day breakaway, there's also treadmill ones. Okay. Wow, how do you have all this stuff memorized? That's amazing. I use it. It's not, it, it's stuff that I use. So that's one of the cool things is, I mean, I have five and a half years of using these tools to get and maintain my results. So I can answer when it's things that I've used. Now I don't use all the pieces. So sometimes I don't have the answer, but yeah, I know someone to ask because of, you know, having been been involved so you, you pick it up like as you go so it's really been a, a huge 
huge help to me. So make sure you get back to your tempeh chili. Okay. Well, now I'm moving slow. See, one and one half teaspoon. Peanut butter? What is this recipe again? This is for the um, lemon peanut butter dressing that goes on top of the Buddha bowls. And then I'm going to section it into three containers. Nope, I need to go find a... Whisper and toast them. <laughs> okay, so make the lemon. Okay. Yeah, so I wonder if people are out vacationing because of the holiday. Yeah, I was thinking maybe we could have done this Monday. I know there was, a, I had quite a few people that RSVP'd that messaged me back. They're going to need the recording. I think we, as much as we realized what the week was, we didn't realize. But I mean, you're here. Kim and Denise got to join us. Yeah. Oh. And we're almost done and we'll be set for the week. Wow, this is amazing. This peanut butter and lemon, I never would have thought about this. Wow. Okay, so we are putting a half a cup of the butternut squash. A half a cup of chickpeas. So I'm I'm start with the chickpeas on the bottom. Well, this is gonna go in the bowl. Yes. So the bowl bowls are just a bowls of goodness. Two bowls of goodness. So I'm going to put the chick the half a cup of chickpea in first. That's just how I do. Can this size bowl be big enough? I'm doing this one. That maybe if you pat it down. Okay, it, I have, it uh, might. Yeah. Some I could do that and divide it. Yeah, put these in first so you can pull this stuff in. Okay. So I'm starting with my chickpeas and then half the cup of the squash and chickpeas. Okay. What is half a cup of beans? What kind of beans? The chickpeas? No, it says a can of chickpeas and a half cup of beans. Oh, so we need a can of chickpeas, rinse and drain them, and then you're going to add a half a cup of those oh. to each one. So it's calling the chickpea the bean. Oh, got it, got it. Yeah. I know, it's phrased a little funny. Okay, so the Buddha bowl gets half a cup of roasted butternut squash, two of the veggie patties. I'm gonna add that on top, the chickpeas. Um, and then so you're splitting up the broccoli and any leftover onions or mushrooms from your roast amongst, amongst them. Okay. My veggie patties are smelling good. I'm heating them up on that skillet that we usually do the tortillas. Oh, I bet that's good. 
Yeah, I'm excited for this week of food. Which kind did you get? The kind of burger I got? Yeah, like did you get a veggie one or I saw they have black beans, southwest ones, and a lot of other yeah. This one, the Boca. Oh, so okay. it's, um, made with a non GMO, GMO, GMO soy. I got it because it was a good price. All the burger, uh, veggie burgers were so expensive. I'm like, oh my. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the prices went up. I wonder how much of that is by, uh, by area. It was actually a, it wasn't a bad deal here. So I did the same thing of you when I did my veggie roast. Um, I mixed everything together when I was tossing it all. So all I'm doing is pulling out my green beans because I know that'll be part of my salmon dinner. And then that way it's just leaving the rest of the veggies to divide. I don't know. You got to that part yet? No, I'm, I'm gonna see how to divide this real quick. Wait, ready to go. Okay. So, uh, half, half a cup of what a nice squash. Veggie patties. Okay. Dressing. Not for so long. Come on. I'm getting around the Open. Okay. Okay. So now I gotta put my burger on here. This is really interesting. You never had a, like, did a Buddha bowl like this? I've never done a Buddha bowl. Oh, yeah. they might be your new favorite. You can do like a rainbow of different colors and veggies. Yeah. And so here are mine. Um, I've got my, my dressing separate just so it doesn't get anything extra mushy. Mm -hmm. And then I have have it spread huh. and then the patties right on top. So when the patties pull down a little bit, I'll put the lid on. And that'll be good to go. Okay, hopefully your salmon is done, your eggs are done, your chili's done. But those things are done. All right, Buddha bowl all put together. Now we come into the roasted red pepper hummus. Um, hmm. It's so funny at work. I've been making a lot of these recipes. I and mean, everyone's like, man, you have the best looking lunches all the time. Uh -huh. I, <laughs> I do. Okay. So I 
if you didn't save the liquid from the chickpeas, um, you can add a little bit of water in. Okay. Should have jumped ahead and, and said that I myself forgot to save the liquid this time. I did, did it last time, this time I missed it. But just a little bit of water so when you're blending the chickpeas up to make the hummus, it doesn't just make a paste at the bottom of the processor there. Okay. So let's get another chickpeas. I'm going to mute myself just so the blender doesn't come across too loud. Okay, then I'm putting fourth a cup of lemon juice, two garlic cloves. My dad called. Personally, I usually double my garlic because I really enjoy garlic, but no pressure. Save the cup. I'm just doing two whole lemons. Personally, I eyeball it, but. The cup is what it calls for. I have to say that dirty dishes are not mounting up too high with this. Oh, I'm gonna have myself. A, I You'll have a big one. one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I don't have a. I have a regular size dishwasher, but I got a lot of dishes tonight. <laughs> Maybe because I, I have them spread all over my kitchen, I'm not appreciating <laughs> how much it will be. <laughs> okay, a fourth of a cup of roasted red peppers. This is gonna be fun. I'm just gonna get a fork to get them out of the jar. You can roast red peppers yourself. I like to... I bought mine buy mine because I'm I cheated the way my oven is it's easier to buy them than try to roast them successfully personally I just think it was faster I got these from Trader Joe's so I'm like hey that works <laughs> Ooh, nice Containers so we can make some more this next week, or we can do something fun with chicken and roasted red pepper, or so many recipes. So, I love if you go on the Beachbody blog and put an ingredient in, you can bring up. So, I can just do that real quick. Um, the blog is one of my favorite places, or the fixate section, you can oh. find the recipes too. But I love to come on the blog here, and so just Go roasted red pepper, hit enter. Oh, I'm not really looked at the blog. And much. so now we've got, now we've got creamy roasted red pepper zucchini oh. noodles. 
a uh, white bean and roasted red pepper hummus, a uh, smoked Gouda grilled cheese with arugula. So many options come right up and then that way you wow. can use it, um, use your leftover roasted red peppers. So now it good. is a fourth a cup of tahini. I would not put a fourth a cup of the oil, sesame oil. No, I am. I think it would I'm be really, less. Really digging the thought of doing the peanut butter, honestly. So maybe, you know what, um, sesame oil, why don't, instead of doing the olive oil, do the sesame oil for the olive oil? So you okay. get that, I think the sesame, um, will go well with the peanut flavor. And then that way you get the hint of the sesame oil. And then you'll have to report back and let us know how that modification goes. Let me do that. So I'll do, what, a fourth cup of peanut butter? Right. So a fourth cup of the peanut butter. Okay. I'll do it. And then a tablespoon of the sesame oil. Because <laughs> you're whipping through food for the week, you're going to be all set. It's going to be great. Oh, it really does help a ton. I'm sure, especially working at the hospital like you do. Oh, oh I forgot my. Um, in my Buddha bowls, I forgot to put, I just realized the, each Buddha bowl gets a tablespoon of pumpkin seeds on top. Oh yeah, I have my pumpkin seeds out. I need to put those on top. Good reminder. I saw, I saw a really neat um, graphic on seeds and actually pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds different times of the month being really beneficial for your hormones and your body. Um, That's interesting. You have to pull that. It was really a neat read. Um, I'm about ready to blend this. If you want to blend this for me, Joe, um, anything that you can delegate if you've got a, a partner or a child, yep, you can close that. If it's willing to uh, take on some some work delegate. So Joe wanted to help here. Let's see. Does your son like uh, cooking? How much do we have? Um, I'm going to say 50-50. 50% 50 of the time. Yeah. Okay. So carry this, carry this carefully over to, to there. It's going to be the hummus. Let's pick it up on top. Now you want to push the button once and turn it up to four. And then you're going to push the button again and you're going to wait. You're going to blend it until it looks creamy red or pink. So it cancel. Oh, wow. Thank you. 
or garlic lemon creamy salt. Okay, then you're gonna bring that over to me, Joe. Oh God, this feels heavier. It's heavier. Hi. Okay, so I've got my five different containers now. The direction says to split your celery, red pepper, and baby carrots evenly um, between the containers. I personally like to to mix it up, and I'll do one day carrots, one day um, celery, one day a yellow pepper, one day an orange pepper, and then the fifth day a mix of whatever's left. Okay. So I can kind of keep it, um, it feels different every day because it's a different veggie, but you can absolutely, no, oh, I gotta see the other one. I gotta split it evenly between these five containers. It smells good though. Oh yeah, it does smell good, you think so? Ooh, can you find a spatula? A spatula? No, wait, oh. There's so like a be able for you to get it. Oh, that smells good. I'm gonna try oh, it. Thomas? Let's see. Oh yeah, you can tell us right away. I guess you don't have to wait to tell us what the verdict Ooh, is. It's so good. Yeah. It's a it's, win. It's a win. Wow, that's oh, might good. Be not good too. Okay. Fill that up with water. Now you're almost done, Mom. We are in the final 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, it's good. I know I might have to um, keep getting my hands messy with it so I can keep my hands. <laughs> right. I'll 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 went be lemon and garlic heavy on mine, and, and it's just, it's got this fun little bite. It tastes so good. So I'm excited to enjoy that. I'm going to be upstairs. Call me if you need me. I will call you if I need you. I got you. So. Uh, trying to balance this in my little jar. Wow, this recipe is awesome. Oh, yeah. um. So I'm going to actually put my hummus veggies in a separate container all together, but just like separate so I can easily pick which ones um, instead of sitting them in the hummus all week. Yeah. Because um, the way my container, yeah, the way my container is, they will be underwater in the hummus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is impressively delicious. I ran out of containers, so I have mine in a little mason jar. Ooh. That is... What I am going to pull out for the. Ooh, man, I don't know if that pepper grower was right on the peppers. I just pulled a, I just cut open an orange pepper with hardly any seeds and it had four humps. Uh oh. The unicorn one. That's <laughs> funny, I've never heard that before. Yeah. Um, one of my first jobs was at a local farm and greenhouse and in the office. So I'd get to talk to all the different growers that would be selling seeds or bringing produce or picking up everything. And that was something they said to me. It could stuck with me. It's funny what sticks with us. That is very true. Okay, we're coming into the home stretch. Yay. I was trying to give myself more room, I made a mess. 
Uh oh. Wow, this yellow pepper hardly had any too. The other one was really full. Mm. How many humps does it have? That's four. I'm gonna have to Google that now and see if Stoll Foods told me the wrong thing. It's always seemed true when I think of it, but I usually like I don't shop thinking of it. Or we get the value family pack and then you don't really get to choose. Okay, so I'm going to have my veggies here just like this in a separate um, tray. So I've got mm. carrots um, and then I just have to get my celery. I think I need it. A bigger container. following the meal plan the reason I'm doing this for veggies is I like to set myself up with a prep but also with a choice as well like yeah. I can choose if I want to have a mix of veggies or if I want to have celery today and another carrot or a pepper tomorrow give myself some diversity some choice but also know it's completely ready to go All right. I think uh, the last 30 minutes they sped up the clock on us, Debbie. Deborah. Oh, oh, I know, it always seems Debbie. that way. Like, had so much time and now it's coming into the pressure. Can we do it? Can we finish it? <laughs> Okay, so the next thing is the overnight oats. So I just do this with one cup of oats, um, two cups of yogurt and the chia seeds if you have, you mix it all together and then you split it in half. Okay, sorry, I missed that. I had to grab something. So blueberry. Oh, the kefir. Kefir or, or yogurt. I just use the yogurt. What do you put it in? Just a big old mason jar or? Um, so yeah, I use two. Um, I'll pull them out. They are, they think they're 12 ounce. So I split it between here. So I mix it in one big bowl. You mix yeah. it all together in one bowl and then you split it. But yeah, I love the wide mouth mason jars for overnight oats. And then if it ever, if it ever gets to be like if it's too thick, um, a little bit of unsweetened almond milk or a little bit of water to stir it up. Um, usually the berries for me, um, I like doing the frozen berries on an overnight oat because then it has, as, it, as the berries melt, it helps with re reconstituting the oats or I guess constituting them because they've never really been that's what I have. I have the frozen berries right now. 
Now, something, a tip to kind of keep in mind, um, again, the To Be Mindset, Alana, I just love Alana's videos um, for her tips and tricks. But wow. something that didn't occur to me is, so oat milk is something yeah. that's become very popular. And whatever, I think sometimes we can get distracted by something being a health food. And yeah. yet, if you're on a weight loss journey, not all health foods are good for weight loss. And so one thing that she said is a lot of people started using oat milk in their Shakeology shakes or in their, their yogurts and just started using all the oat milk. And in reality, oats, oat milk is made from oats. It's made from, um, from a fiber filled part. And so you're, you're not treating it as a fiber filled carb usually. And in that case, you're getting extra carbohydrates that you're not taking into account because you think it's just the milk. You think it's well, just I've the made that milk. mistake. Wow. So, so something like when, to just keep in mind. Yeah, I didn't even, because I've done that actually. Um, I bought oat milk and I'm making my smoothies. Now, when I do um, my Shakeology, I like to put oats in it. Should I be doing that? Because I did like a fourth cup of oats. You absolutely can, as long as you track it. I mean, Shakeology, it's just plants ground up. So it's simply, um, it's really only going to, uh, it's, it's like, it's not a diet shake where you have to not have it with food. There's some diet shakes that you really shouldn't consume food with and so yeah. that kind of comes into thinking but if you're having it for a snack optional or you're having it for uh breakfast that's a perfect adding the fiber filled carb oat in with the the protein and the nutrients of the shake to really to really help you start your day so yeah no that's a hundred percent fine it's okay. just if we're looking at like those final final few pounds or we're looking at, you know, where, why we're not seeing results. That's something yeah. that's seemingly small that we might not be accounting for. Um, because we just, just didn't take into account that oats are fiber filled carbs. They're not a milk. Mm -hmm. It's not treated the same way. So that I thought that was a cool tip to just be, if you're on a weight loss journey to just being mindful that just because it's a health food doesn't mean it's a, a weight loss food. It doesn't mean that it's going to help you get sense. to your, your next goal. So again, like that's, I mean, that's why I rewatch the videos. So, so often even being five and a half years in on this journey, um, every time I swear they change the videos sometimes, but of course, if you have the body or the um, additional access or videos, there's also more new videos, but even just rewatching the original programs, I swear they change stuff, but it's really, I've just now become an expert on the first half. Now I can actually hear the second half that I didn't before. Yeah. Um, so I, I like that. I think she says every mass, every video you master is it unlocks another 10 pound success or unlocks another weight loss, but you have to master it. Yeah, that makes sense. And so like, um, one of the questions I did have is, um, you know, I like having my, my shake in the morning, right? Can mm -hmm. you I guess, pair that with like this taco for the morning, oh. then, you know, or would that be too much? That would depend on how you feel and what you track. So, um, I would track it and see to me, if I would have the shake with this taco breakfast, I would drink the shake just shaken with water, nothing else in it. I wouldn't make it a thick smoothie. Okay. So, um, I, the, for me, the tuna salad is something I just keep really super simple. I just have the Ezekiel bread. I keep in the freezer until it's time to make the tuna salad, the tuna packs I keep, um, until it's time to go. So it's really, um, I don't even pre-cut the avocado. So this is something where, 
Yeah. Um, you can prep them, but I just prefer like even putting pumpkin seeds in the greens, um, mm -hmm. they can absorb the moisture and get, you know, lose their, their pepin punch. Um, yeah. So this is something that I really, I washed the apples, I had the tuna pouches, I measured out um, the, I have the uh, pumpkin seeds ready to go and I have the salad, but this isn't something I actually store plated. I store it as a bulk um, yeah. and ready to go. And then personally, I put the tuna in the salad bowl first and I oh. squeeze some lime uh, lemon in and put in the avocado and I mix that all together with the pumpkin seeds. And then I add the greens on top while the toast is toasting and yeah. voila, it's a really quick, um, easy lunch. And like I said, I have the the apples already prepped um, by being washed. So they're mm -hmm. all ready to go. Uh, yeah, that's so like a super meal, easy one. Yeah, so this meal I really didn't personally need to really to really prep anything. Um, yeah, I think uh, that's one I could probably just whip together on my own. Mm -hmm. But having the ingredients on hand and then knowing if you're going to an office or something, then yeah. you can like put it all together in your lunch tote. Um, okay. I do like to pre prep my pre prep my shakeology. So I have my collagen and, and my vanilla shake in the baggie. And then I actually am gonna add the peanut butter, the cinnamon and the banana and freeze it. It takes me less than five minutes to do and then the frozen banana and the peanut butter become kind of like an ice to help you know froth it up you can absolutely do whatever shake snack you want to do you don't have to follow um this one for the week yeah um, and then i had oh i had actually added my my oat milk tip here <laughs> in the in the pamphlet for you that's a great tip yeah, it's, it's it's the seemingly small things that add up over time that get us our results or hold us back. And um, no, I'm not going to make someone give up their creamer or their coffee uh, day one, month yeah. one, or even month five per se. However, as we start coming into the home stretch and as we start changing other things, that does end up being something. Um, that is worth swapping and starting to change as our taste buds change. I see. Okay. Get my and then knowing ourselves. So I I do have a healthy uh, carrot cake um, breakfast cookie recipe that I considered doing. I said, you know what? We had Valentine's. We did breakfast <laughs> cookies three weeks ago. My birthday's coming up March 3rd. Um, we have Fashnots Day. I said, you know, the breakfast cookies can be a healthy addition and a swap, but also yeah. uh, you got to know yourself and the temptation that's coming up. Am I going to rather enjoy a fun donut or have 10 breakfast cookies because I really wanted the donut and I'm not getting satisfied by the breakfast cookie. And so giving myself permission to not have to have that, those to look at, um, if I know I'm going to already have other temptations and things that are coming up in my weeks ahead and okay. I will have, you know, birthday cake for my birthday. Wow. Are you excited about your birthday? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I'm like, I get more excited about other people's than than mine. I don't know. I love birthdays. Yeah. I'm gonna be if I make it to 80, I'll still be getting excited about my birthday. Yay! <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I um I feel like I'm 24. I'm kind of in denial that I'm going to be 42, but I guess 42 is just the opposite of 24, right? It is. Yeah. It all no, it's out. true. Like I'm 43. I still feel like I'm in my 20s. It's the freakiest thing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, when are you supposed to start feeling like old, sir? Yeah. I mean, I guess I, I guess I do sometimes, but when I'm like, talking to someone and they don't know who Eminem is. I'm like, what? 
how do you not know who Eminem is? I had um, someone at work, this young girl, she didn't know the song. Um, I said, you know, when if somebody asks for your number and you don't want to give it, you know what number you give them, right? She's like, no. I was like, oh, I forget you're in your 20s. <laughs> but uh, the others around me, they're like, 8675 675 Yeah. I know. But okay, so I got my baggies already and I just I reuse my baggies um cuz it's not like anything really wet touching them. I put it in the freezer, dump it in yeah. to blend it up and then I just store them up with my shake and the and then just reuse them the next week when I do it. So in the freezer they go. Yeah, you're really fast. Like you can tell you've got this down. You're super fast. I have some practice on it. Yeah. I'll wow. have to lean into my practice there. My I will tell you when I started, I, I would be in the kitchen for easily five or six hours. And it was so now I'm just going to let everything cool down a little bit and pack it up and put it in the fridge. And that is, that is it. We did it. And it is 756. Can we do a little dance? Like, can we just take a moment and do like a little dance that we did it in under two hours? Um, it's all ready to go for the week. And I will, let me grab the, the picture up. Let me grab the picture up right quick. Yeah. Let's see. I'm so excited for this week ahead. Yeah, I'm excited to eat. But yes. How are we supposed to do the salmon again? I just have it like laying there. So we split this the green beans half and half with the salmon. Got it. Okay, so let me share my screen here. So this is the plan that I followed. Um, and then I can send you, if you didn't save it when I sent it before, I can send it to you. So this is what our week of food looks like. Breakfast is going to be eggs with the mushrooms and spinach, um, make tacos out of it. Monday, yeah. Wednesday, Friday, your Tuesday and Thursday are those overnight oats. Your mid-morning snack is your Shakeology. Lunch on Monday, Wednesday, Friday is going to be that, that tuna salad on your your toast and what does Alana say? An open face is a happy face. Um, so an open face sandwich there. And then Tuesday okay. and Thursday, you got your tempeh chili with some avocado. You got your afternoon roasted red pepper or roasted peanut red pepper <laughs> um, hummus. And then your dinner is Monday, Wednesday, Friday is gonna be the Buddha bowl with your veggie burgers. And okay. Tuesday and Thursday are the salmon. And you should have some, um, so you wanna split, your green beans and your squash that's left over into the two containers with the salmon. Got it, okay. Okay, any other questions other than that? We did it. We did it. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I know it, it seemed like a lot um, when looking at the list, but just taking it one step at a time, I love that the meal plan has the step-by-step -step directions to follow. Um, yeah. And then I just printed out the menu. So I'll resend you this so you can like have that reminder of what it is, but I just yeah. will put the menu on the fridge so I can very easily grab and go. So thank you so much um, for joining and yeah. sharing. This was fun. So look and forward I will, to you. Yes, I'll see you later. Okay, Bye. I'll see you later, have a good night. Good night, bye.